Well, hello, glorious people of the interwebs, and welcome back to Red Dead Online. The snowpocalypse is here. Phase two of the winter snowstorm has arrived, and if you thought having, like, a little bit of sunlight and snow was pretty, well, you're never going to see it again, because we're just having perpetual insane snowstorm, and um, it's pretty. I like it. <laughs> have fun hunting in it good lord now for those of you that don't know you can get your krampus gun now uh you have to have purchased the double barrel shotgun and then you can get the krampus variant for free it is a really really cool uh, variation of this particular weapon i absolutely love it it is available for free and uh get it while you can you should be getting it in the mail, or basically, when you log on, you should get an alert. It'll pop up on the top left corner, and it'll keep screaming at you until you pick up the variant. So <laughs> you should know if you get it. Some people may not be getting it until December 25th, so just keep that in mind. Uh, but we've also got a new Madame Nazar collection today. And she wants us to make... She basically Welcome wants back. us to make her dinner. So that's, I guess, what we're going to do in this particular video. We're also going to check out New Austin because it should be snowing hardcore down there now. Uh, so we've got the new Festive Feast collection. And if we open this bad boy up... We, uh, okay, that did not quite open the way I thought it would. But, um, yeah. So let's go into our collection here. And I definitely want to go down to New Austin because I've been hoping to see stuff, like, accumulate there for a while. So we need goose eggs for this. Oh, it's only $50. Really? $50. Oh, and then we need our time plump bird. Now, I believe this was actually given to us in... I could have swore we were supposed to get time plump bird as part of our, like, little package with the Krampus Hello, weapon. Maybe Something if I collect missed. all deliveries, it'll give me that plump bird. If not, it's super duper easy to craft. All you need to do is shoot a bird in the face and grab some time, which is literally everywhere. And you should be good to go. Otherwise, um, the cognac and stuff, we're going to show the locations for all of that for the uh, cognac and the goose eggs. And hopefully you guys can make some money and some easy XP today. So instead of getting the 10 uh, time plump birds, we actually got 10 minty plump birds. Uh, you're also supposed to be getting 20 carrots and uh, 10 time big game meat, 100 shotgun shells, 30 rounds of incendiary buckshot ammo, obviously the Krampus double-barreled shotgun, 50 candies, 10 fine brandies, 10 special miracle tonics, 20 volatile fire bottles, 2 creek plums, and 2 augurita, which you're going to be using for your very strong moonshine. Man, it is snowing up a storm out here. Now, the nice thing about the Madame Nazar's collection today is you can hand it in multiple times. Um, so you can actually get a ton of XP from doing this. We're going to go turn it in right now and see... J Excuse me, bird! F you! Are the gods protecting you? Jesus! How is this even possible? But we definitely need to go down to New Austin because it is 100% going to have snow accumulation there and we have not seen that yet. And I bet it's going to be beautiful. Right, so we got two of these to trade in, so it's going to be an equivalent of 100 bucks. But I want to see how much XP we get. Uh, let's see here. So, come on. Like 2,000 XP, I'm hoping. 1,000 XP per turn in. So that's going to be really good for leveling up we'll pretty out. much your character. And if you haven't already maxed out your Outlaw Pass, uh, turning these in is going to be incredibly easy to start leveling that up. Now, if you're looking for these two collectibles for the Madame Nazar collection today, you can find a goose egg right here on this island in Flatiron Lake. And then if you're looking for cognac, you got to go all the way to New Austin, near Armadildo, and it's going to be inside of this building here, uh, just northwest of Armadillo. Definitely a lot of snow in New Austin. It's looking good, too. I, I actually really like the snowstorm. I know a lot of people are kind of hating on it and for some reason blaming no animal spawns on it because we need something to blame other than just these servers. But the snow has nothing to do with the animal spawns, ladies and gentlemen. And if you're having trouble finding animals, make sure to use Eagle Eye. You know, it's a mechanic in the game. Um, but yeah, uh, <laughs> animal spawns are tied to too many people being on the server, not the snow. But regardless, uh, we do have snow throughout New Austin, and I figured we'd see if it cured the cholera outbreak here in Armadillo. And I just found, like, tons of it. I know I'm probably going to jinx myself, but it's like a Christmas miracle. There are a ton of animals spawned right now. And this guy, 
don't wait until the 30 second timer on the bounties ladies and gentlemen you're wasting your time only wait until the timer is about 50 percent complete and you'll be doing you'll be much more efficient that way if you wait for the 30 second timer unless you're like watching tv or doing something else productive uh don't waste your time waiting for the 30 second timer but regardless i'll see who still got cholera up in here you guys still dying yep everybody's everybody's still dying um but it does look really nice i want to go out to tumbleweed as well just to see what it looks like um i'm glad this is finally here i was getting worried for a little while uh thinking that maybe it wasn't gonna snow hardcore out in tumbleweed it's been snowing for the past couple days out here but it hasn't really accumulated on the ground well here's tumbleweed now a lot of you are probably wondering where our drip feed content is and uh, apparently they thought the stuff we got for christmas was enough to hold us over for you know two weeks so i can't really blame them they're probably all on holiday and stuff like that so there are new no new clothes today i was really hoping maybe we'd get some winter outfit stuff uh but yeah no new clothes no new bonuses or anything like that just the same stuff that we had um as far as last tuesday maybe there's some kind of super secret thing in the newswire today if we get one at all but there are a lot of animals right now i don't know what the deal is with that uh because i am on a rather full server but i'm making sure to get my hunting on because i got a christmas episode to do and i need lots of animals for the christmas episode that was only a two-star condor but it dies if it flies it dies ladies and gentlemen that's how we roll around here let me know in the comments below what you think about the snow in new austin i know i know a lot of people are going to be out there like oh god it doesn't snow in the desert this is so unrealistic <laughs> shut up it snows in the desert okay it is cold as shit in Texas right now. And it snowed in Texas my first year, which is where this area is meant to be after, like Texas and New Mexico. And it can snow there, rarely, but it happens. It has snowed almost every year in the South since I've been in the South. So it happens. Travel more. <laughs> I've seen so many comments, so I had to vent on that for a second. But yeah, no, it, it doesn't snow this crazy, though. But regardless, it's still pretty... Actually, this is about... There's, there's actually probably less snow on the ground than what I've seen in Texas before. Um, but I like it. But yeah, we're not going to see sunlight in this game. I don't know if it's going to stop on like the 25th, if the blizzard is going to stop on the 25th, or if it's going to be like this until like January 6th. We don't know when um, the tier two version of snow is going to stop. Um, but I did like the, like the version one of the snow where it was kind of just like flurrying and... It was just really beautiful, especially down in the bayou. Uh, but regardless, uh, I do hope you all have a very happy holiday. Uh, Merry Christmas to some of you out there already. Or, uh, you know, Merry Christmas Eve. Happy holidays. I hope everyone has safe travels if you are traveling. Thank you so much for the support on the channel this past year. I hope you all have a wonderful day. And I'll see you in the next one.